What is going on, guys? We're back with the rebuild of the Tennessee Titans. If you weren't here for it, we did start this on stream like the day EA Access was around. But if we get a thousand likes on one of the rebuilds, we will do a seven, seven rebuild week, I suppose. Seven rebuilds in one week. Um, and this team's not looking as good as our Browns one we just had. If I, I mean, definitely take a look at that thing if you have not yet done so. Landon Collins on this one as well. Logan Ryan, Darius Slay, Wooten was a drafted player. Got a Dory Jackson. So we basically just ended it there. We have a lot of trade bait and a lot of positions that I do want to upgrade. It is going to be a little... Ooh, who is this young man? Merrill Mitchell. Wow, he's actually really good. 84 strength, 92 impact. If I saw this in um, the league once it starts a primetime franchise, I'd be insane. I would lose it. I would just, I'd be like, you know what? I don't give a shit if it's a fullback. I want it right now. And I'd be so by because I know I wouldn't get him first because I usually don't finish the draft in the league. I think I actually really need to take a look at these players first. But before I do that, let's trade them up. This guy's got a goddamn ice cream pile on his head. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. Uh, receiving core is not looking that great. We should have done better year one. If I'm if I'm not mistaken, I think that was a big pushing point and argument was how come we didn't do better year one? Uh, if I had a third this year, we could get away with a third this year. So I need to go out and trade for that real quick. Nah, I'm too lazy. I'm just going to trade him a first. Hopefully it works. It does. So lazy. But at the same time, it's the same value. Kind. Yeah, it is actually the same value. It would be just as easy for me to get a first round next year as it would be to get a third round this year. Um, four wide receivers. Not really needing that many there. But that's all right. That's all right. This team, like I said, nowhere nearly as good as the other one. We have to take a look at those guards. See which one stays and which one goes. Should I stay or should I go? We got rid of a linebacker and didn't replace him. So, might have to use one of these picks. Come on, Janu. Why does it keep flickering? Who's it flickering between? I'm trying to see. Oh, it's just add player. Okay. Uh, we have a DT here from the Jets. No linebackers. They move Sheldon Richardson to right outside linebacker. Are you guys absolutely shitting my shorts? Is it just the Jets? I mean, at the end of the day, we need another DT. So the traditional, if I'm going to the Jets, I'm only going for one player, comes alive. Might still have to give up that first round pick. Maybe even more. Please be not more. Okay, so we will give up more, but it's not as bad as it might seem. Oh, another, another third round situation. So we might be able to do it for a second. A third does it. So, Johnny Smith, a first this year and a third next year for Leonard. Like I said, the trades this year aren't as easy as last year. So, a lot of people want to hate on these rebuilds. But they're a lot harder now than they used to be. I don't want to get rid of any more draft picks. Oh, wait. No, we have those those guards. Thank God. So, we need to use one of them to grab some sort of linebacker. We just need a linebacker. Lots of them around. Do we go Zach Brown here? Zach Brown is looking like a nice... Uh, Oh, Zach Brown's a Redskin now. Shit. Damn it. Who do the Redskins want? Ooh. I don't know if we have any linebackers here. I know Dayon, but he can't be too high of an overall. 81 overall. That's, I mean, that's good. Not quite what I'm looking for, though, so we'll have to come back. He's decently fast. He's actually a really good player. They don't. So you want a left guard, and you don't want Heap? Oh, he's an 87 now. Okay, so we have... Have potential here, even though it's a very tough trade to potentially pull off. Eh, he used potential twice. I don't want to get rid of a Dory, but we need McKinney. And even with a Dory, we might not even pull this off. I'd be okay. Did I already just put this fourth round in? Oh, no, I didn't. So, second round picks, got to do it. Our draft picks are in shambles. But we do now have a proper starting roster. This front seven is looking pretty sick, I must say. You got great DBs as well. This could be the one of the better defenses we've made. Offense, on the other hand, not looking nearly as great. The Browns team. I know I keep going back to it, but holy shit, was it a beastie one. So, yeah. I mean, that's going to be the roster there. So, let's well, I mean, let's fully take a look. So, Kralik looking good. Corey Davis, even though this guy should start. Screw it. We're going to put him in. I don't think it's going to make much of a difference to bench Corey Davis for Drayton even though I mean it's not really benching him you know what I mean uh, what about defense now like I said not as good as our uh, Browns team but not far off not far off and then special teams 
I believe we have shit special teams. We do. Let me know, guys, if you've been playing franchise and you noticed some things, or if someone's had a video and I just don't know. I need to know when these like damn development trait stories are out because it sucks. It used to have such a decent method with like knowing and like look how many drafts like whoa. One numerous collegiate will it translate to NFL success? I don't know if. Oh, these are past stories. That's actually really cool. I don't remember if they had that last year. That's pretty cool. What do they want to ask us? I say we're going to go 10 wins here. Uh, so there we go. 10 wins it is. Let's move on to, I guess, mid-season because I don't know. Maybe I'll, you know, once the game fully comes out, I'll, I'll take a look deeper into this and see if there's any uh, trends that I notice. But like I said, I need all the help I can get. So let me know, guys, if you notice any trends yourself. Uh, four and three. That's not bad. It's not great, though. Malarkey. Mike Malarkey. Look at this. How is that a red? Come on now. Six, six. Reds for days from the big men. Um, safety isn't a need for us, but Landon Collins on the contract. And if we don't win the Super Bowl here, I don't know if we're going to be able to give him one because we're in a tough situation. We have so much talent. Ooh, what a cornerback, even though we don't need corner. Logan Ryan is getting a little old, though. So I'll I'll keep that on the radar, I suppose. I'll allow it. I'll allow it. Another coverage guy. Offensive line and uh, really a safety. That's about it. Actually, let's take a look at these guys. Uh, Landon Collins. Ooh, Mike Evans. We just got him. Oh, my God. Guys, we're screwed. Please be over like 70 mil. Come on. I know it's not frozen. This is the bottom of the screen still going. Okay, so we're at 60. That's pretty good. Mariota, he's to that point where he wasn't good enough for his rookie contract to be listed as one of the greatest in the league. So that's actually not a bad contract to take. Leonard Williams is a DT. We just got him, which is rough. Left tackle, you can't get rid of a guy this good. Uh, especially at the left tackle spot. Uh, Mike Evans, we just got him. And even if we didn't, he would still get a contract. Uh, Landon Collins, that one's one we'll hold off on. Safety is not that hard of a position to get. Leonard Williams, DT isn't that hard to get either, but we just got him. And okay, fuck you, I guess. Oh, Jesus, the prices on these guys. This is a tough spot. I think we'll maybe just barely get everyone. But that's not my issue right now. My issue is getting to the playoffs. And as of right now, it looks like an issue we might not solve. So we're back at week 15. And I don't know, once again, if draft stories are here still. Was the awarded... Oh, here we go. So the Heisman is back, just like last year. Uh, quarterback, most likely superstar. After his three-sack performance to end his college career, Joey Hoover has quickly become one of the draft's hottest names. That doesn't have anything physically read on it, but it's nice. Uh, Joey Hoover and Brock Brayton. What else? Alabama coach that announced that Heath Hedelson has been suspended. Quarterback's favorite target in the end zone now holds a school record. So, Trey Gee. Interesting. That shit's gay as fuck, boy. <laughs> I'm sorry. Brock Brayton. We don't need a quarterback, especially since we just signed our guy. That looks decent. Definitely be a top uh, prospect for us. I believe one of them was a receiver. Trey Gee. Gee as fuck. Oh, he's actually really solid, but we. Do we need a tight end? Oh, we actually could use a tight end. Ladarius isn't like the answer. He's just really good. I believe the next guy was a, yep, Joey Hoover, pass rusher. Looking good, but I don't think that's a position we need. Leonard Williams, actually. To be fair, um, we can move JJ Watt to DT and this guy to starter. Leonard Williams didn't sign a contract with us and he refuses to join. So we'd have to tag him if we want him. But what I'm hoping is that... We uh, don't need to worry about that, and we just win a Super Bowl right here. Make for a really weird video since it be a part two. 11 and 5. All right. So, oh, and we lost. Damn it. Damn it. I don't know why I was kind of excited about that. We lost the division, which sucks because I would have liked to potentially have a bye. 11 and 5 is pretty close to bye week. So, 2 and 2, and then 4 and 2, 4 and 3, which we know. And then we went on a huge win streak. 5. So, what is that? Is that nine and three? I believe nine and three, nine and four, uh, eleven and four, eleven and five. Huge loss to the Bills right at the end, but that's all right because we made it to this point and we're actually in the playoffs. Unlike last season, even though we should have. 
Mariota, good season. Like I said, I streamed the first version of this, so I have no idea how that ranks to his first year. Julio Jones did well. Drayton, number three spot is the key. I know number one and three are really important, but Mike Evans had a shitty ass game or season. What is that? Holy shit. Averaging less than 10 yards a catch. That is bad. I don't know how that actually ranks in real life, but for franchise, that's one of the worst I've ever seen. Defensively, we are in a 4-3, I believe. Yeah, we're definitely in a 4-3. Are we, though? Like, unless every single rebuild I've done, the linebackers just get a lot of pressure from random blitzes, these outside guys in a 4-3 uh, are getting way too much pressure. Look at the kicks, though. 30 attempts, 80%. I think that's pretty damn good for 30 kicks. Um, let's see what our rank was. 7th and 0. Defense looked like a top 10 easily. Probably 12. No, number 6. So 7 0, 60. 60. That's at a nice age. Mariota, surprisingly, was number 2 at MVP, which is a bit of a shock if you think for the fact of how badly he really played. What he had? 4,300 yards. 33 touchdowns and like 12 picks. That's not great. That's not really MVP status in any year you can see in real life. Offensive Rookie of the Year, surprisingly, Frank Drayton might have ourselves a more special guy than we thought here. Uh, sorry for the Browns. We stole their second award they would have had. Although they kind of stole ours. So maybe they stole our award. And we stole, and they, I don't know. Uh, and that's about it. Take a look now uh, at what our XP totals are looking like. I'm hoping decent. Uh, what? I might have um, auto upgrade on, actually. That's probably what it is, because no way our guy has no stats, right? You'd have to have a lot of XP for winning Offensive Rookie of the Year. Yeah, Progressed Players is automatically on. I mean, let's go in, take a look at the Ravens squad. And like I said, not as great as our um, Browns, but pretty close. 93 overall. Definitely good enough to get the job done. And I'd like to think, you know, it's funny as I'd say I'd like to think Mariota is better than Kaiser. But physically and like performance-wise, that's just not true. He throws just as many picks as Kaiser did. And his overall is worse, if anything. It's 33 to 12. Just like Mariota's touchdown to interception ratio. I'm pretty sure that actually was what his was on the season. If it was, that's ridiculous. Let me know in the comments section. I'm, once again, way too damn lazy to take a look at myself. 33-19 to 19 is the finish, though. Joe Flacco looking pretty devastated, I must say. He looks rather devastated. Let's see what the performance was. Mariota, pretty damn perfect. Next to perfect, Joe Flacco, the devil himself, 666. Uh, Derek Henry, pretty solid. Terrence West played better, though, kind of. Yeah, I got to say kind of because our guy did have to try to run the game out, which obviously leads to a lower average when people know you're running it. J.J. Watt and Quan with a sack. I have to take a look at this scheme because we should not be getting sacks every game with the outside linebackers in coverage. Defensive line a lot. 95-0, 99-D, just like I thought. Our defense, definitely the best on the squad. Offense needs to step it up. If they want to be considered a part of the elite Crew. Oh, God. Fuck. <laughs> Damn it. Well, I mean, let's go on and take on these Patriots. We should have a better overall than them still. 94 to their 90, which is exactly what we had with our Browns team. So very close to that squad. I would still say that squad is much more talented than this one, though. Especially just for future as well. I, if I had to build a squad through one of the teams... Even though I love Mariota and I would love to use him, I think the Brown squad was 10 times better. Had more youth potential, less contracts to worry about. Just overall a better team. If you can take down a team like the Patriots, you know you're good. And wow, the Patriots have no answer for our offense, it would appear. It would appear our offense is too strong. And even there, we're really just wasting the clock at this point. And that's a turnover. I don't know if we turned it over or what's the story Offense kind of choking the game away. Clutch there. But here's going to be, wow, fourth and four. We went for it. And let alone through to the backup running back. Who is this coach? And can I marry this man? Mike Malarkey is the dude. He's the guy that turns 
$10,000 a year into fucking $5 million because he invests so well. He invests in his offense, and he invests in a trip to the AFC Championship game. Tom Brady is devastated, as he should be, because they had a chance, and our offense just won. For once in Tom Brady's career, the defense doesn't bail him out. And here it is. Marcus Mariota absolutely outperforming Tom the Goat Brady. It pains me to say that as a Packer fan. Uh, Tom Brady did have a rushing touchdown. Tevin Coleman on the Patriots. God, I had a decent game. Not as great as our boy Julio Jones was amazing. Though. Three touchdowns over 100 yards. Defensively, what do we got? Quan Alexander with another sack. Like... Is Quan Alexander the greatest pass rusher to ever exist, or are we in a 3-4 on accident? Surely we're in a 4-3. We are in a 4 We have the Green Bay playbook, though. So, yeah, we're in the wrong playbook. So our defense realistically should do better because we were doing really well with the 3-4 playbook. Switch over to 4-3. Come on now. It can't be a coincidence. It's got to be something else. Quan Alexander gets sacked every single game just about. Here we are in the AFC Championship game fighting for a Super Bowl trip. And the Chargers have our number early on here. We're down 10 already. Driving down the field, we do get a touchdown, but they score just as easily right back. Defense coming up clutch twice now. But the Chargers last second do get a score, so we are only up by one. But honestly, the way this game has looked, we shouldn't even be up at all. With many penalties there, the Chargers, start of the fourth, have the lead. So... Right away, we have to punt it. So bad decisions by the offense, putting our defense in some tough situations. Down by eight, it can happen. Third and ten, huge play to Ladarius Green. Another huge play, this time to Frank Drayton. Another huge play, this time to Drayton again. Got to get in the end zone, and we do. Can we get the two point? And sacked there, so we do not get it. So we need defense to clutch up, and that's exactly what they do. So, yeah, the uh, it, it, it may be glitched. Uh, so, we are going against the Seahawks. But we did win the game. We got the stop we needed. We drove down the field, kicked the field goal, stopped them on defense. It was actually really insane. But uh, may, just maybe my uh, footage kind of crapped out. I don't know why. My computer, ever since that update for Windows, has been shit. And, I mean, I'm recording on 720p right now. Might need to get myself a new desktop. Or just a desktop in general. I haven't had a desktop in probably eight years. Been rocking computer laptops, which is... It's interesting. I mean, it's it's very interesting. I'd probably get a lot more done, too, if I had a different... I had two, One, a faster computer that can render this shit out quicker. But two, also I could you know work on a thumbnail for the other one and whatnot. So that would actually be very helpful. Tis well... We're in the Super Bowl against a very tough Seattle team, of course. And we're starting off strong already, getting a defensive stop, getting the ball, and scoring. This quick thing, it's its kind of getting me. I don't know. I don't, I'm not sure I like it this year. It seems quicker than normal. Maybe I'm just losing it. But 13-6, defense for the Seahawks pulls the Titans and stops us, getting them the ball back. Our defense holds them. And, man, the battle of the defense is real because, as you can see, the only thing keeping either team in the game is defense because offenses really haven't gotten much done. And here, five-yard penalty on the D. I don't know how that leads us all the way down the field, but we are now up 25-13 with six minutes left. The Seahawks still have a chance, or do they? Picked off by the rookie. If we score a touchdown, it's over. Field goal, so they're still in a clutch defense by the Seahawks yet again. Huge run there. Seahawks aren't out of it yet. Second and seven. I, do, I don't know what happened there. Fourth and one. Oh, my God. They're actually going to drive down the field. They go for two there, and they miss it. So, unless a miracle happens, which it appears it's not going to. Ooh, it's not over. They're going to lose a Super Bowl. Yes. Year two again. Another Super Bowl win. What the hell is happening to his jaw? His chin is just flopping. The other guy's got a flat back head. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Everyone's got body issues today. Uh, we won the Super Bowls, though, so we really don't care. Looks really cool, actually. Those little uh, light blue trophy uh, confetti is looking nice. I wonder who won MVP. Could be Wooten. It would be nice if Wooten got it because that was clutch. Huge play. The number's off for us, obviously. So weird. J.J. Watt, number 97. 
Get the hell out of here. But yeah, next team. Ooh, Julio Jones with the win. Nice. What? Three catches, 60 yards was MVP for the Super Bowl. What in the world is going on? But of course, next team very well could be the Niners or Rams. So if you're enjoying these wins, enjoy them while they last because that's going to end very shortly. Very shortly. Um, maybe we can win with the Niners, but the Rams, man, I don't know. I know they got Sammy Watkins, which I'll if I do them next, I'll probably have to manually do the trade because EA still doesn't have that on. But, man, that's a rough roster to work with. If we can win two-year with Rams or Niners, maybe rebuilds are too easy this year. But we'll leave it to that because, once again, Browns, young and beast. And the Titans, pretty much young and beast as well. Actually, beastier than the uh, Browns right away. Uh, Mariota and Wilson both playing worse. But, of course, Wilson threw three interceptions. Derrick Henry, clearly the Super Bowl MVP. Without a doubt, how did Julio Jones win it? That is not even close to a Super Bowl uh, MVP performance in the slightest. It's another freaking rig job, of course. Big surprise there. Three picks, two to the corners, one to the linebacker. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I don't know if I mentioned in the beginning of the video, but uh, it would be nice if we can get to, to like 300 likes. I know there's no goal this time, so 500 likes is it's a little bit of a stretch now. But 500 likes would be nice. Um, if we get 1,000, I will post... If we somehow get a thousand likes on this, which we probably won't, which is why I'm going to go ridiculous, I will post one rebuild a day for an entire week. I don't know which week I'll do it, but for seven days, I will have a rebuild each of those days if we get this to a thousand. I think that might be the lifetime goal because I think Bengals Browns has like maybe 2,000. So that's a lot of views and that's a lot of likes. But I don't even know if you had a like goal in that video. Maybe you did. But a thousand likes, it's going to be a long standing goal. Whatever we get it, I'm not going to do it for every a thousand. But if we get a thousand likes on one of the rebuilds, we will do a seven, seven rebuild week, I suppose. Seven rebuilds in one week. You're obviously going to have to give me a little bit of time to create those. So you know, give me a chance with that. But I'll probably put this in the beginning as well. Seven rebuilds in a week. If we can get any of the rebuilds this year to a thousand likes. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for the likes. Thanks for the views. I know it's sad as hell to ask for that stuff, but it does help me out a lot. So when, you, when we ask for these things, you obviously don't have to do it, but it doesn't take you much time. It doesn't change anything for you. It does change a lot for us, though. Thanks anyways. Whatever. Even, even hearing this to this point is amazing because you watched my bullshit for this long. <laughs> Once again, let me know what team you'd like to see. What do you want to see in general from me and Madden? And hopefully I, uh, you know, you subscribe and I see you guys next video. But until next video, see ya.